Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and thank you for tuning into my channel. Uh, today's going to be an interesting uh, subject we're going to talk about. It has to do with things that you find that people, maybe a neighbor, or might throw away, or something you might find in a Dempsey dumpster, um, or perhaps it might be something that somebody um, no longer needs, and it was given to you. You know to pass it on because it was no no value to them so they give it to you um, I have got a few things here that I would like to discuss about that have been found that I came across um, you know again people just don't realize sometimes what they throw away and that's not always a good thing you know you have to remember um, something that could be of a lot of value or of some value because you don't do your research your homework to check and see what exactly you may have you could be passing it along to somebody else and they could be the one to take you know whatever amount of money that could be made off of it you know but here's a few pieces some things that have come up that I've uh, come across or my my mother and father you know God rest their soul that they might have come across at some point I do remember a leather jacket it was brown uh, really nice leather jacket I mean just wonderful um, I know back about the time that they located this particular jacket they were doing flea market and, um, and I know that, you know, it was sold out there. Somebody bought it. Um, can't remember exactly the amount that it was sold for, but they, they made pretty good on it. Uh, can't, can't really complain, but it was a nice jacket. Nice ladies leather jacket. Beautiful. Okay, the next one was, uh, there was this dog. It was just a, a little figurine about yay big. And it was a picture of a dog. It was a, a dog. And it had this plaid jacket on or, or of some type. And it said coach on it. And it had been sitting on the countertop or on the desk for three, four months. Didn't think nothing of it. Oh, coach, okay, that's nothing. So finally one day I got the urge to go and look up that particular dog. Uh, I looked it up, did a little research, and I was amazed to find out just what that dog was worth. Also found out something I didn't know. I, did, I wasn't really familiar with Coach as a brand name at that point or at that time. I do now, but this was back around 2000, 2001, 2002, but, you know, again, I wasn't, I wasn't up with certain name brands like I am now. But that sold, made pretty good. Um, I'll even give the dollar amount. I think it went for like $67. It was certainly a, a surprise. Uh, the next one, um, I came across some money. I was leaving a doctor's appointment. This is back when I was just becoming a teenager. It was sort of a windy overcast day. Me and my dad are walking out of the emergency room. We, we had just gotten out, and this woman's walking in front of me, and I see two bills fly at me. Didn't know what they were at that precise moment, but when I finally got them in my hand, one was a 20, one was a 30. And um, what I did at that point, you know, I held on to the money. I did go and buy a Brian Adams CD at that time, and I kept the difference, that part and part of the 10. Let's see, another thing that was found, this was of interesting, this was definitely an interesting find. Silver coins. It was in this Ziploc portfolio looking thing. You unzip it, open it up, and there were these coins. It, it ranged anywhere from, you know, I think the late 1800s all the way up until sometime in the middle, late 1940s, in decent shape. 
you know, and um, I have to look, but I may still have that. I don't think that was ever sold. I do believe I may still have that somewhere. I just have to look. I may still have that. Um, the next one was a dual tone, a dual tone arm turntable. Uh, this was made by Sansui. The way this turntable worked is you put a record on the turntable and it would play side one, but when you got to the end, another tone arm under the bottom would start playing and play the second side. You never had to turn the record over. I thought it was one of the most unique, interesting, innovative turntables I think I had ever seen in my entire life. And by that point, I think I was about 30 years old. So in 30 years, that was the first time I had ever seen a turntable like that. Mind you, I knew the brand Sansui. I just never knew they made something like that. That also sold, and a pretty good amount came back from that, a couple of hundred dollars. Um, the next thing that was found is nothing that you and I would use on a common everyday basis. This is used uh, by people like electronics technician, people maybe, you know, in, in the electronic, electric, electronic world. Um, an oscilloscope was found. And this was probably about 1993. 92, 93, and even by that point, the oscilloscope was kind of on the old side because it was an old analog type, so it makes me believe it was probably a late 60s, early, middle 70s unit, if I had to take a wild guess, um, and that also sold. I believe either that sold or it was we traded something or we traded it for something else, I should say. But I'm, I don't remember exactly. It's been, like I said, approaching 30 years ago. But all in all, you know, it never hurts. You drive by, you're in a, you live in a subdivision or apartment complex or RV park or who knows where. And uh, people tend to throw stuff away all the time. So, you know, not only things like this, but you also can come across uh, furniture still in decent shape. You know, maybe you just got, you know, you had it a few years, 8, 10, 12 years, get tired of it, want a new one. So you throw away the old one. And uh, we've picked up furniture, you know, out of somebody's yard before and, you know, used it several years. So um, it's definitely out there to be gotten. You just, you know, you just have to look for it. Well, anyway, uh, everyone, I would like to thank everyone for tuning in to this segment today. I really appreciate it. Um, if you're a veteran subscriber, I really appreciate you being here, as you all know. If you are new to being a subscriber, I thank you for subscribing. And anyone who is just passing by may be considering subscribing, which I hope you do. Uh, I hope you subscribe, but feel free to go back and look at some of my past videos. Look at the content, because it is at random, it's mixed, and see if it's of any liking to you, and then you can make your decision whether or not you want to subscribe. If you do, I greatly appreciate it. I want to thank you for tuning in, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.